Hello and welcome to Middle Age Geek Girl. I'm Sally. So to start off 2021, I thought I would share my completed diamond paintings for 2020. Now just a few disclaimers before I start. I didn't start diamond painting until I think it was August. July, August, something like that of 2020. And so I completed 17, 18 actually, around 18 in that time. One of them's not here obviously because that was the gift for my parents of their um, deceased dog, Sam. But the rest of them are all here, ready to show you. Also, when I first discovered diamond painting, like most diamond painters, I went mad and just kept buying diamond paintings and it was before I understood about original art and stolen artwork so there may be some in here that are not um, stock images and may be what's deemed as uh, stolen images so I do apologize for that as I said, I bought them before I understood all that. Um, I have been doing my reverse image searches since, but I still want to show what I've completed in the year. So I'm still going to show them, but I'm not giving details of websites or where I got each image from, uh, mainly because it's going to take too long to fill that data out. But if it is a branded one, I will let you know. Apologies to any artists out there. Um, yeah, it was uh, just basically being naive and not fully understanding how the system works. So that all said, let's go through. Now these are roughly, I think they're roughly in order of I've completed them or I've just popped them in size order. I can't remember. I've just got the big pile here. <laughs> From this point onward, they will go into display books. Um, so if you are interested in to see how I will display them, let me know. I'll hold off a little bit before I pop them in display books. Let's get to it. So this is number one. This is the very first diamond painting I did. And it was um, a crystal creations. It came in the little book that you open up and it's all rhinestone and it is uh, meant to be a little stand so you can actually stand it up as a photo if you want to uh, I haven't I've just kept it in the box it came in but yeah this is the first one I did and I worked out I loved it and it was really great for if I was having an anxiety or a panic attack it's quite calming and soothing and a great way to end a day if you just need to chill out so there's my tiger this is my very first one. Uh, I've done one notebook. I thought I'd try something that was uh, off the canvas, so to speak. And I bought this plain notebook because um, I want to practice drawing still and teach myself that. Or I might even swatch washi tapes in here. I haven't quite decided what I'll do with it yet, but it's just a plain notebook with a pretty owl. So there was that one. Here is now the diamond dots ones were some of the earliest ones I bought because they were local and I could get them easily at a shop. I have three of them. I've only done one so far and of course it's Winnie the Pooh who I love. I'm a huge Winnie the Pooh fan and this will be getting framed and hanging up in my poo room aka my toilet because it is poo themed. That's all you need to know. <laughs> So, um, yeah, so Diamond Dots was, this was actually the second one I did after the um, Tiger, the Crystal Creations. So, yeah. Uh, and then, yeah, fell in love and then went bulk buying. Some Christmas ones, which, um, well, this one was done at the very end of the year, as you saw it in one of my videos, which was my end of year 2020 message. I like this one. It came out really quite nicely for such a small image. Really love it. And I also did this one as a Christmas one, uh, Christmas lantern. I wasn't so happy with the image on this one. I think it was too detailed for the canvas. It was a 30 by 30, but I think it was something like a 24 by 24 
so I don't think that came out as nicely so I didn't show that one on camera and I chose to do this one instead so the next two are partials so this uh, is a partial fish and love the colors there is definitely a lot of colors as you can see by the legend and it was just a nice quick one to do you know one night whilst watching binge watching a tv show so it's really quite a nice one to do this one terry picked me up from daiso australia now it's only the owl that's actually the diamond painting it's as i said the partial this is all pretty done i have seen where you can do the whole kit but not from daiso so i thought it was really interesting that daiso is actually starting to release some diamond paintings uh, again so if you want a little quick kit to do you can pick up one for I think it was seven dollars from Daiso this one this one's my favorite in many ways um, if you saw the unboxing I laughed at this one for many hours and I still think it's awesome it was called magical flower is the proper name for it but I reckon this looks like a vagina and I reckon it looks more like a vagina since I've done it because of the color choice around there I'm sorry if that offends you that's the way my mind works it's why I bought the kit in the first place and it is a full kit so all of that is uh, done in diamonds and it was very confetti heavy as you can tell by the mottled background or mottled background um but some really odd like bright yellow <laughs> ones in there but yeah it, it was it's my vagina flower i'm not going to refer to it as a magical flower this is probably one of my most favorite ones i did for 2020 <laughs> apart from obviously sam for sentimental reasons <laughs> but um this one gives me a giggle and it will always give me a giggle <laughs> This one was called Fantasy Eye. Uh, oh, sorry, I've cut the bit off there uh, because it was, I needed it to look for th at this when I was working on it upside down. So I've just trimmed it a bit, but it will get trimmed more when it goes in a display book. Really happy with this one. Um, colors are gorgeous. There was huge lots of color blocking, which made it really easy to work with. And I think the image, I mean, obviously not as detailed as the thumbnail, but I think it came out beautifully. I love the, I just love the colors on it and I think it looks really good. And this was a uh, purchase from one of the um, cheaper uh, diamond painting websites. So I'm really, really happy with this one. Another partial, uh, it's called Brazil Brazilian Girl and her, uh, her bralette her headwear and her jewelry is all rhinestones um love it now this one i'm all over the place with it. i do love it the image i did one image search on it and it seemed to come up with it was somebody's image then somebody else said it's no it's for rio the movie which i haven't seen and then when i've done it again i can't seem to find who it belongs to at all so um i purchased it as a partial and did it anyway and i um just love it so colorful so pretty love the original drawing so if you know where it's from please let me know um because it does look like it could belong to something from rio but i can't seem to trace it but i, I do love how beautiful and colorful this one is so the next four you have seen before I, i'm pretty sure it was fan cells i purchased them from and i have done a post review on them so i'll just go through them quickly um so you've got your vampire skull you got jack skellington you got your seashells which i wanted to put in my bathroom but was not going to and you've got the gorgeous little hedgehogs and another one there in another skull with some cherry blossoms i do love my skulls as i keep saying but i do i do love them <laughs> and the last three which are getting a post review in the video that will follow this video 
so I won't linger on them too long but because there will be a full post review video of these coming out but we've got a coffee one which will be getting framed and be putting in the kitchen for Terry the geisha girl or the Japanese lady I don't think you need to say geisha girl I think that's redundant if I'm correct and this one should go this way the galaxies and these these last three were square I think everything else I've done has been round so yeah these three plus the Sam one was also square so I've only done four square so let's pop them all back together and do the outro and I might count them just to confirm how many I've done I think it was about 18 so let's confirm okay so a quick count i have done 19 uh diamond paint if you count the christmas cards which i didn't show here that would be 20 um because i'll count them as one kit so 20 diamond painting activities slash canvases since i started the hobby in around july last year so that's pretty good i'm pretty happy with that i don't think that's an obsessive amount <laughs> i think that's a reasonable amount so next stage for all of these is uh, there's a couple that will be going in a frame and the rest in the display book. So as I said earlier in the video, if you're interested to see the display books I've purchased and how I'm going to display them, let me know in the comments and I'm glad to film that. That's it for this video. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you had a great Christmas and New Year and you managed to stay safe especially if you're in a COVID hotspot. Uh, please remember to like and subscribe and leave a comment on what you thought of these kits. Would you like to see the display books um, or anything diamond painting related? would love to hear from you. In the meantime, stay weird and I'll catch you in the next video. Bye!